Howdy doody everybody, my name is Kev Gooey and welcome back to Stay Stay DPRK. If you missed the last episode, you can click on the end of the video to watch the previous episode to get caught up. Alright, we get to choose our location. We can't go to Nampo though, apparently. Um, yeah. So, oh, oh, it tells us on the top. Go to Mansude with Jung. Yunji, Jung. Yunji, Jung. Yunji. Wait, so how many Yunji are there? One, two, three. One, two, three. Oh, okay. Hmm. Yunji or Jung? Yunji or Jung? Let's go with Jung. Let's, let's, let's go on the, the Jung route first. Or Yunji. Yunji route. Hmm. Yeah, let's go to the Yunji route. Huh. Yunji. Let's go to Pueblo. Nah, let's go to Jiang route. Uh, PPG. I don't know what that is, but, uh, let's go there. The area marked Rongna PPG here on this long island in the Taedong River. That seems like it has promise. The weather is supposed to be pretty nice today. That would be an excellent location. I will be your guide for this trip, so please go and make sure you have what you need. You will want your phone and wallet. Make sure to have money with you. Also, something you don't mind getting wet in would be advised. Ooh. Meanwhile, I will secure some paper bags. Paper bags? Um, I didn't see needing money and wanting to take photos, but are we bringing a sack lunch or something? No, this is a different sort of preparation. No need to worry. Uh, is it for my base? Yunji, do you have any idea? I'd rather not talk about it. There's a reason she's taking you there and I'm not. Okay, could you at least give me an idea of what I'm getting myself into? Do you all Western people worry as much about something so inconsequential as a paper bag? Well, yeah, paper bags are scary! No way, it just seems to be... Oh, don't black bag me at, a, at least. Well, that, there, that black bag. I don't even know what that, what that term means. Black bag. Huh. You don't know what that term means? I know it sounds- I know it's a bad thing, right? Very bad thing. Anyway, I'm going to go get ready. You sure you don't want to come? I could not even if I wanted to. The highest of leaders might have need of one of us, so I must stay behind. You go have fun with Jung. Maybe we'll go somewhere tomorrow. Okay then, I'd best not keep Jung waiting. I'm ready dressed and I've confirmed the girls that what I'm wearing is appropriate for our destination. And that it only has a very slight chance of offending any sensitivities of the glorious leader. He's pretty uptight for a guy who loves American basketball. Uh, 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 uh huh. And apparently, uh, Katy Perry. That too. Don't, don't forget. Young says bit that I don't need that on my any wedding. Does she mean a swimsuit? Hell, I didn't think to pack a swimsuit. Guess I can toss a pair of silkies in my bag. Silkies? After getting the obsolete piece of plastic called my new phone and my wallet, I head out to meet Jung. We're going in the same car we arrived in yesterday, with the same driver. Thank you for joining me on this trip today. It won't take very long, so we'll be heading to Pyongyang proper. You'll even be allowed to see outside on the ride so as soon as we leave from here. Well, that's a bit of a relief. I hate not seeing where I'm going. Especially after that hazing incident back in Boot. I don't think our company is allowed back in San Diego after what our superior officer did to us at MCRD. I guess my father drill sergeant didn't know I slept commando. <laughs> huh. Anyway, I was afraid you and Yunji would get annoyed with me just staring at you time we take the car. You were staring at us? I couldn't tell. There wasn't much else to look at with the windows covered in that divider in the middle of the seats. I thought you were bad to look at. Oh, I mean you... You look nice today. You look red, are you sure you're feeling well? Of course, there's nothing really. Well, if you say so. And classic Kev Gooey. No, 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 don't, no, 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 don't, 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 don't put that on me here, Kev Gooey, okay? You Kev Gooey, not me Kev Gooey, you Kev Gooey. She totally knows I was checking her out now. No, no, this is not a date, don't get psyched out. Today is just a casual, totally normal trip alone with a really pretty girl. Oh man, this is totally a date. All right, logic time. Truth. Say that she looked nice. Truth. Jung merely asked if I was well, so it didn't interrupt our our date day. That day. I'm freaking out for nothing right now. Religion. John thinks I'm an idiot. Wow. You 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 just jump you just jump straight 
We're straight into there. Sorry, I'm really not good at these sorts of situations. That's okay, I think I understand. You are, as they say, inexperienced with the ladies. Wait, did John just... Before I can say anything else, the car hits a bump. Ah! John giggles a bit at this. That being so nervous, your taste in musical attire aside, you're just fine. I really like that t-shirt, you know. Just let it be. She pats my hand as she says this. It's both comforting and nerve-wracking. Is this really a date? I thought I was just here for sightseeing. Yeah, I feel like every moment I spend with these two, I'm being sized up for something. It feels more than just simple sightseeing. Maybe I'm overthinking things. Perhaps Koreans are just this friendly and familiar? I don't know. I don't know about North Korea. I, I mean, if you think North Koreans are just very friendly and familiar, um, with, with this, they probably are. I'm, I'm just saying right there that they, they probably are. Wink, wink, wink. Lots of wink, wink, and nervous, winky, winking stares. Uh, yes. Hopefully, uh, that got through to some people. Thanks, John. That makes me feel a lot better. Woo! We, we, we're okay for now. A few minutes later, the, pay, the partition between us and the driver comes down. I'm able to actually see where we're going. I instantly regret it. The road we're driving on is a little more than some crushed rocks and gravel. I've seen better paved roads in the backwoods of West Virginia. I guess that explains the rocky ride. Although I can't complain about the effect it's had on the uh, <clears throat> view. Unfortunately, it's also giving me a headache. Are you sure you're okay? You seem to have a pain expression. Just a mild headache. I'll ha I'll, I've had worse. Private Henderson snoring in the bunk below me used to give me migraines. I understand. Sometimes Yunji tucks in her sleep. Really? That doesn't sound too horrible. It It is when she's shouting drill orders at 2 a.m. Oh yeah, that would suck. Anyway, once we get there, we'll get you some water and maybe a nice walk will clear your head up. Yeah, that sounds good. For along, we're crossing over a bridge to the... Islet in the middle of the river. This is the Chongryu Bridge. Its name celebrates the chosen dynasty, the longest lived dynasty in Korean history. Founded by General Yi Song Gi in, 19 in 1392, the dynasty, also sometimes called the Yi Dynasty, lasted over 500 years into 1910. It ended then when the thieving Japanese. Ahem, excuse me. Annexed our country. Sadly, much of the political history was centered around Seo and the enemy occupied territory to the south. The bridge, unlike the back roads, is actually in good condition. Wow, the bridge appears to be in really great shape. It's paved well and everything. Such a funny thing to say, but yes, the bridge is in good shape. It was given a major renovation that finished in 2004. Well, that's probably enough history and infrastructure for this part of the trip. Could you give me an idea of where we're going? Like, what does PPG mean anyway? You did not know? You should have asked. PPG stands for People's Pleasure Ground and it's on the Rongna Islet. It's an amusement park along with a pool, water rides, mini golf, and dolphin showcase. Dolphin showcase? Awesome! I've spent some summers on the Jersey Shore boardwalks. I'm pretty good at mini golf and dolphins are always fun to watch. Brad, you are looking forward to this visit then. Did you want to go to the dolphin show first or maybe mini golf? We can also go on some water rides and normal amusement rides too. There's also an arcade. I think we'll be able to do a lot of those. Let's start with the dolphin show. Okay, I love dolphins. They're so cute. They remind me of Glorious Leader. Okay. Let's go to the show then. Ah. Step out of the car and Jung leads us to a rather modern looking aquatic building. It reminds me a lot of Sea Planet back home in the States. The sea Planet? It appears Jung wants, to close, wants a close up view of the action as she takes my hand and leads us to the very front row. You do know that by sitting here, we're almost always guaranteed to get splashed in repeatedly, right? Of course, we're lucky it's not too, too crowded today. Sitting up front is refreshing. You can actually come close to having a second bath if the dolphins are lively enough. A second bath in in the the the, the pooping water and probably pee of the uh, the waters. Then I recall Yunji's jab at me about using up the water ration this morning. Well, damn it! Now I just feel guilty. There's got to be a better way of getting a bath than this. Well, we can go swimming in the pools. I think they changed the chlorine recently. They, they changed it recently. They don't do it often. Maybe once every few months. That would have the added bonus of getting some disinfectant on any small cuts we have. Well, of course, because swimming is clearly an essential function of proper wound hygiene. Hmm, now you're just being mean. Jung frowns and turns her attention to the water, waiting the show. 
I think I may have teased just a little too hard there. Maybe I should try and smooth things over. Hmm, let's tickle her. I think I need to do something more than just a simple apology here. Zhang seems to be, a, to be comfortable with grabbing my hand and leading me around. Hmm, I think I saw somewhere that tickling was something people still do here. Maybe that will lighten her mood. She just slugged me. But hey, that's progress too, I guess. Hey, wait, what are you? Ha 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 are you angry? Not really, it's just, well, you're not Korean. Yeah, I guess here I am the whitest person since, since... Well, I got in trouble for finishing that sentence when I was stationed in Boulder, huh? I got these smiles, I don't really care. You like my smile that much? Stop blushing, idiots. Pity, cool! You got a real pretty mouth. Thanks. Damn it, why do I suck at complimenting girls? Hey, I think the trainers are coming out at this, com at this completely unplanned opportune time. Ah. What if I just, uh, apologize? If there's anything I've learned in this world, it's that the woman is always correct. Even if she is pouting. So as a man, it's just best to suck it up and admit how wrong you were. Even if you weren't. That's a gunny he always says. Said, happy wife, happy life. Although, I think he got divorced from his fourth wife recently. Hmm. Hey, Jung. Yes, protagonist? Or yes, protagonist. <laughs> Thank you. Sorry about teasing you a little too much just then. You have the idea of taking advantage of anything you can. Uh, I used to brush my teeth in bed and swallow the page just so I could get a few extra minutes of sleep during boot. That's kind of gross. Wait, so you did that too? I thought I was the only one. Yunji always got on my kiss about it. But I was the one with minty fresh breath in the morning. We both just admit we're slobs who are spitting out used toothpaste in exchange for a few minutes of sleep. No, we both admit we're clever people who found an ingenious way of getting some extra sleep. I was to give her a laugh at that one. Here comes the trainers, I believe the show is about to begin. The trainers come out with buckets full of fish. Not long, not long after a parade, a dolphin swims out into the main viewing area. They look pretty healthy. Actually, they look better fed than most of the trainers. Aren't they excited to see? Yeah, really. So scrawny, I can see their rib cages. Pardon, I'm not sure what you mean. You can't tell just by looking at them? They don't look like they're eating properly at all. Maybe they don't faint into the water on spot. I don't understand, they appear healthy to me. So majestic as they move through the water. Breathtaking, this spectacle. What like a heartbreaking spectacle. They, and there they are, just handing perfectly good fish to the trained animals. While they themselves probably barely get, get enough food for breakfast. <laughs> woo! Woo! That's a, woo! Wait a minute, are you talking about the trainers? Oh well, yeah, who, who did you think I was talking about? That we're here to watch dolphins, not people. And the trainers here are certainly fine. We've been documenting on the news how the glorious leader makes sure they are kept strong enough to train the dolphins properly. Ah, it's documented. Perfect. Far be it for me to argue with your leader. Glorious leader. Your glorious leader. And I seriously think the trainers aren't getting proper nutrition. Hey, that dolphin's about to jump through five hoops. Diverts my attention elsewhere. Maybe it's for the best. Her devotion to this glorious leader seems to border on fanatical at times. Or, you know, uh, everyone has to. I should probably be careful when talking about him. I wonder what it cleared all five hoops and barely made a splash. Yeah, that was an Olympic level entry made there. I wish I could make such little splashes when I dive. You just no problem making hardly any splash. I never realized you were a diver. Oh, yes, I was trained in both diving and gymnastics at a young age. I was really good at gymnastics. I was great at the floor routine. Around the time on my 15th birthday, my coach handed me a hoop, ball, and ribbon. He then directed me to the rhythmic gymnastic coach. I asked her why, and she only muttered something about tracks of land and pushed me along. I never really understood that. Oh, damn it, I know exactly what her coach meant by that. I really hope she doesn't notice the goofy grin on my face. Oh, look. You, oh, her coach was definitely right. What's so funny? Do you understand what she meant? Shit, she saw. Well, yeah, I sort of do. It comes from an old comedy movie. Medieval father trains to arrange a marriage for his son with a girl. Throughout her positives, he tells his son she has huge... Well, you know. I don't understand. It's a polite way of saying a girl is blessed with excessive charms. No, I still don't understand. It means you got bigger. Are you saying my coach sent me to rhythmic gymnastics because I got fat? No, not that. Thank goodness. You, you know, don't look like... Uh, you know you uh, don't look like Yoonjae anymore. Jung starts to laugh. 
That's a relief, I hope. Send me to the rhythmic gymnastics because I fell down. Haha. <laughs> well, yeah, haven't you ever noticed that China keeps getting in trouble for trying to enter that 12... They're, they're 12 year olds? I, I have no idea what, what. Which is why our glorious nation won every medal last summer and China only went home with silvers. Ah, that's what they say, don't they? Ah. All this time I thought she hated me. But it was my body that robbed me of my chance to be on the Olympic gymnastic team. And she was just trying to spare my feelings. Why was I cursed with these curves? I wouldn't call them a curse per se. Why is that? In case you haven't noticed, pretty much every guy here has looked your way since we sat down. Really? Every man in the building? Even you? Even me? Wait, um, did I just say that? Hey look, dolphin basketball! Where? At work, surprisingly, as she turns her attention back to the pool. What a stupid, stupid, stupid fool I am. I've only spent roughly 24 hours with this girl and I'm dragging my tongue. It wouldn't be so bad if I didn't sound like a, such a fool. And a tool. I think the slam dunk spectacular segment ends the show. Maybe we should go get something to drink and figure out what to do next. Since I'm about to say something, a big splash of water comes up from the pool and completely drenches both me and Jung. Whoa, big air for Kim Dolph. Uh, oh, I see, I see what you did there, Kim, Kim, Kim Dolph. Uh, <laughs> there, resulting in a huge splash on the front row. Hope you brought some towels. Well, I guess it was bound to happen sitting in the front row. Yes, very refreshing, isn't it? That's one word for it. After a few more dolphins proceed to use their snouts to dunk balls through hoops, subsequently drenching me, Jung, and some other people in the front row again before the show ends. Go for a walk around the concourse to dry off. Maybe you'll see something you want to do as we go. That sounds like a plan to me. All right. I I I don't know if they are actually, you know, um, I think actually amusement parks in in the uh, North Korea. Walking outside uh, into the bright, relatively warm day. Oh, actually, what am I saying, guys? Of course there's amusement parks. They're right inside Kim, uh, the, 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 uh, the dolphin, the Kim Dolphin, un, um, you know, glorious leader, uh, bedroom. Yeah. As we make our way around the concourse, we, we come upon a rather large crowd. At first, I think it's for sure a ride, but we're actually near the main gate. Getting closer, I think I can make out what appears to be a limousine near the entrance. The people seem to be watching it with curiosity. Looks like a VIP has arrived. Got a stretch near the gate. Let me see if I can get a closer look. As she bends, jumps, and contorts herself for a couple of minutes, she turns back to me. That's the personal vehicle for one of Glorious Leader's top trusted advisors. He must be here to have a day at the park as well. From what I can make out from the hushed voices of the crowd, I don't think he's here just for the roller coaster. This is his third time here in just over a week. He must be promised to one of the girls. Passing out the milk to purchase a chosen cow, maybe. Likely, they don't call this the party's pleasure underground for nothing. Yes, I feel the girls have reached the edge of leaving the Akim uh, Pom draw. Hush, we have a go-go over there. Wow, he's with a pretty Korean girl. Maybe he scored favor with the party and got access too. As I figure out they're talking about me and Jung, I look in their direction. Before I can go to them, they see me and screw off into the crowd. Hey Jung, what does the word Kipom Joe mean? Her expression darkens at the mere mention of the word. Where did you hear such nonsense? Tell me now! Um... Didn't you just hear the people say it? Nonsense? I don't know, I just heard some people in the crowd just now mention it. Something about girls leaving the Kipom Joe and the guy in the limo visiting. You see them again, point them out to me so I can have them dealt with properly. Such filthy slander should not litter the air of a happy place as this. I think I'm missing some vital intel. Mind sharpening my sword? The army uses swords? No wonder we won. What? Oh, wait, you're gonna have one here. What have been confiscated? Sorry, just an expression meaning please explain so I know what you're talking about. Understood, there's a filthy rumor that the glorious leader keeps a large battalion of beautiful girls for personal use. Ah, ah, I, hmm. That he uses them for entertainment up to and including sexual favors. Ah, hmm. And that he also rewards hiring officials and guests with access to those girls. Hmm, ah. It's a filthy lie though. Ah, you say, you say, hmm, okay. How do you know it's a lie? No offense meant, but most world leaders 
Find themselves with pretty girls. I mean, just as the Italian Prime Minister, that man knee deep. Your false leaders are much less faithful than the glorious leader. He has been happily married for years now to a gorgeous woman who has birthed to him 18 kids. A 18 kids, you say? 18 kids. I can't be right. I thought recall he hasn't even been married that long. Means I count the human gestation period of 9 months. There's no way the two have 18 kids together. Unless she gave birth to multiple sets of twins and triplets. It does seem unlikely, but that's what we've been told. The media has insisted that Glorious Eater is the most viral man in the world. That, 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 and okay, okay, we'll, we'll say that. Isn't it I never needed to know? Anyway, I think I get it. Let's go on some rides or play some Midway games. The Midway sounds good. I'm getting a little hungry so we can visit a food cart there. Let's go then. Midway. Midway. Isn't that a game company? We head over to the Midway area and I'm a tad surprised. For all the anti-American rhetoric I've seen and heard, the Midway reminds me of a southern carnival. Cheap food carts and games are likely rigged against you winning cheap prizes. Since Zhang said she was hungry, I started looking at the food carts. Anything you can recommend we tell our take of from the vendors? They are equally good, so see if one of them strikes your fancy. Between the signs, I get the feeling my options will leave a lot to be desired. About every vendor is a kimchi vendor. Some claims to season theirs differently or add a different ingredient. In the end, it's all kimchi and noodle vendors who also offer kimchi. <laughs> well, except for that one guy who appears to be selling mystery meat on a stick. Oh, mystery meat on a stick. I think we'll skip that one because I think I see tails still attached to the so-called meat. Oh, no. You Koreans really like your kimchi, don't you? It's easy to make, store, and it's delicious. I believe the vendor over there has the best kimchi here if you care for some. When in Rome, do as the Romans do. Silly, we're in Pyongyang. When in Pyongyang, eat kimchi. She giggles as we walk over to the vendor she pointed out. I let her walk up and order first and I place mine. This way I can pay for both servings, maybe smooth things over. When Jung goes to protest, I just shrug my shoulders at her. I hand the vendor a $10 bill and I get back a handful of coins. They're all euros, they're from different countries at that. I think I should start a collection. I also have no idea if I just got a good bargain or completely fleeced. Maybe I helped, I guess. Sit down and we eat our meal. How is it? Honestly, I've had better kimchi in the States. Fairly bland and lack seasoning. A bit too watery as well. It's okay, I guess. Yunji was, was way better though. I had to tell her you liked her kimchi a lot. So much you thought it was better than a professional vendor's food. Might make it for you every day. I hope not. I might not ever eat cabbage again if that's the case. Want to go on some rides after this? Yes, let's do that. There's some I've been wanting to go on. We finish up eating and head towards the main attractions area. You can find most of the rides here at any theme park in America. First, we go on the tilt tilt and swirl. Ooh. Wee oof. The tilt and swirl does tend to smash people together. I'm not complaining as our previous conversation with the dolphin show is fresh in my mind. Only a couple minutes into it, the ride suddenly stops. Just as the turn is abrupt and forcing me into junk. Our apologies, we've lost power. Please be patient and it will be restored soon. Perfect. You know, it's always nice, nice and safe when, um, you know, ride on the roller coaster, on the uh, theme park. Always uh, loses power. Collective groans whispered together in a tone brokering not again. Are you okay? Yeah, a bit perturbed that the power went out in the middle of the ride, but otherwise I'm fine. Comfortable then? Yes, feeling pretty good. Are you okay? Well, you're kind of pushed up against me. Your perfume smells nice. Perfume? Ah, sorry. We're gonna shift off over in the seat, my face a little red. Not like I minded. Young huffs. A few minutes later, the power then comes back on and the ride resumes as normal. That was fun, what's next? Bumping carts. What bumping carts? On the bumping carts, Jung is really coming after me. My car seems slower compared to hers. Just after she gives my cart a gruesome head-on collision, the ride stops. We offer our apologies. The power has gone out. Please bear with us. Does this happen often, Jung? Just occasionally. Right. Yeah, and the swirling swings. We are, well, most sorry, the power has gone out. Please bear with us. The, 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 the swings, the, the swings that go up in the air and that swing you around, lost power, loses power. I'd be scared, freaking scared. On the super swing pods, apologies, we have temporarily lost power. Please bear with us. In the men's bathroom, uh, but since it is 
Apologies, the power is gone now. Please bear with us while other people pee on you by mistake. Sorry. I'm not the brightest crayon in the box, but I can sense a pattern when it's pounded into my head. Are you ready for the roller coaster? I have the proper bag ready. The paper bag ready. Is that why you insist on bringing one in case I puked on the ride? I mean, I've jumped out of an airplane at 13,000 feet. Nothing but a parachute funded by a Congress that spent nearly a million dollars on a soccer field for Gitmo detainees. Thinking, um, handle a roller coaster. That's what Yunji said, but it didn't stop her from tossing her kimchi. Oops, I wasn't supposed to mention that. Did you sort of sabotage my image of Yunji here? I wonder. We had always a roller coaster and get on together. Oh, goody. Roller coaster. Let's see if we will lose power too. Ride is going smoothly. It's not overly death defined, but it is satisfying. And we might even make it to the end without losing power. So sorry, but the power has gone now. Please bear with us. Me and my stupid thought bubbles. Maybe we should do something else for a bit, Jung. I think I'd like to do something that the electricity can't interrupt. We are at uh, about the hottest part of the day. We could go swimming. Sure, why not? I didn't bring a swimsuit, but I did bring my silkies. I put, I put our bag with the clothing and a locker on the way in. We can grab it and go get changed by the pool. Alright! Grab the bag and head over to the pool. Surprisingly, it's not overly crowded. We all head to the women's west, restroom. Washroom. I said restroom. Change as I head over to the head. They walk in a couple men turn around and once they see me, their faces look like they've seen a ghost. I guess I already do stand out there. There. Good afternoon, gentlemen. Nice day for a swim, right? Yes. You say so. Hope you don't mind, but I'm going to get changed over here. Okay. Then as I start taking out my clothes, the two guys run off. That was as if they were scared of me or something. Finish changing and head back out the, into the porch. Young's ready, waiting. Woo. I don't know what to say. W what do you mean? Do I have a sunburn or something? Do I look okay? You look amazing. I was always, always told Americans were all fat slots with guts of beer. What? What? No? But you're chiseled almost as well as the Supreme Overlord was in his prime. Thanks, I think. It's been a while since I've worn my swimming costume. Does it look okay? He twirls a couple of times and to say it looks okay would be giving far too much credit to the term. Fills a swimsuit out like a supermodel. I already feel my face getting red. You look, you look, um, you look. That bad? You look perfect. Better. Heads off to the diving board and quickly dives in gracefully. Despite her earlier protest, she actually doesn't make that much of a splash going into the water. Really? Oh, you're right. She doesn't. Follow up behind her and attempt to do a jackknife. However, that plane goes awry when I'm suddenly finding that I've never taken formal diving lessons in my life. I do a totally belly flop into the pool, splashing everyone in a five foot radius. In pain, I crawl out of the pool and sit on the edge. A few minutes later, Jung poses herself out too with a worried look on her face. I uh, meant to do that. Are you okay? You went in right on your stomach. It seems a little, but otherwise I'm fine. That makes it all red. Runs over, she runs her hand over my abdomen and again my face is flushed again. When we're done, make sure to see me and I'll see about getting something for that. Uh, I think it'll be fine. Swim for a while before finally decides to get out and head to the midway again. Back on the midway, I decided to look at all the games being offered. They're pretty typical. The darts game features pictures of a foreign leaders on them. I recognize the President of the United States as uh, well as the Prime Minister of Great Britain. Over at the basketball toss, the background has a huge picture of the glorious leader. Standing next to him is a basketball legend from the States. That's about what I was want next to that game. Here we go, Junk. This one is right up my alley. Super Sniper, I don't think anyone has ever won that game. Break open the history book then, because it's going to need an update. Well, I mean, except that the glorious leader has probably won it. Super Sniper involves hitting five targets with your single shot pellet rifle. Of course, the gun is modified against you. It's just a matter of figuring out how. Hand over some cash and then I've given my rifle already loaded. Begging the barrel, I note how the rifling has been tampered with to throw out the shot in a certain direction. With that knowledge in mind, it's a simple matter of compensating my aim. A couple of minutes later, all five targets have been knocked down and I have a game booth operator standing agape. That was amazing. With how you were aiming, I thought you'd miss terribly. I think the booth operator is asking you to pick your prize. Prizes are pretty lame. They consist of a line of plush bears popular in the 80s were being colorful and have symbols on their tummies. You mean Care Bears? I remember those. Care Bears. However, these look like knockoffs made in Mexico or China. Too bad, original sell on the internet for 20 times the original value. Obviously, I'm going to give it to Jung, so which one should I give? 
Two that look the best are green one with a four-leaf clover and blue one with a crescent moon. Oh my gosh, we get the big one! Uh, uh, blue bear? Uh, blue, hmm. I say the green one. She she wears green. I like the green bear with the clover, please. Booth operator is still looking like he's seen the most amazing thing he ever. Hands me the bear. Her immediately offered to Jung. Present for you. It's cute. I do like the color green. Thanks. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Look at that, guys. Because she's wears green. Smiles and takes my hand. You are so cute when you're blushing. Come on. Let's play some more games. Yay. We roam the midway playing some games here and there. However, I only know how to get the upper hand in the shooting game. And for some reason, it's closed as soon as we left and I haven't seen the operator since. <laughs> it's starting to get late. John looks tired. Are you ready to head back yet? Almost. There's one more ride I'd like to go on. He points in the direction of the Ferris wheel. Ferris wheel? Okay, why not? I like the view of the city from the top. All right. Yeah, there are things and go to the Ferris wheel. While it appears to go pretty high, the cabins aren't very big. There's barely enough room for two people in the cabin we've gotten into. Sitting across from each other, the ride slowly goes uh, up and around. If I was a bet betting man, I'd be placing a wager on the over-under for revolution before the power goes out. So sorry, but the power has gone now. Please bear with us. Two revolutions. If only Vegas had a spread of four power outages on Korean amusement rides. That's almost at the apex as well. Jung is looking at the city. She has a sleepy look in her eyes. Hey, if you're tired, you can come rest on my shoulder. I won't mind. Where would I sit? The seats are too small. On my lap, I guess. I mean, only if you're okay with that. Well, I could use a little nap. Oh. Well. Well. I'm gonna end the episode here, everybody. Like, seems like uh, she, she just likes sitting on my lap. Oh man, what a great day today was, man. <laughs> a great day with the young. But but you know, power outages, scary, scary stuff happening huh anyways this is north korea so if you guys enjoyed this episode of stay stay dprk then please slime that like button and subscribe down below for more awesome videos thank you everybody for watching this episode and you will hear me in the next one bye